Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Zoella X Colourpop that Zoella has done with Colourpop. I'm really excited to do this video. Um, I know Zoella has mentioned in so many of her videos in the past how much of a fan of Colourpop she is. So for her to actually bring out some products with Colourpop, I'm so happy for her. Like. I can't really say anything else but I'm just generally so happy for her. I have waited roughly two weeks for this. Um, my package actually arrived while I was in Norway. So um, I've been back from Norway now just over two weeks but I did film this video last week and it was only when I came to edit the video just everything was bad. Like my camera went out of focus so many times and yeah I just didn't like it so I was going to refilm but then the following day I became really ill so I just pretty much spent the whole day in bed which who wouldn't but I am here now and I'm hoping that this video turns out a lot better and like I said I know I'm going to give my honest opinion but I'm generally going to just say what I personally think about everything like every item in this makeup package so I have my little bag right here this is what the package looks like and I think there's about 13 11 13 or 15 items I can't actually remember but this is the makeup bag that it comes in and I got the PR package which basically meant I got everything that Zoella brought out just at a slightly sleep cheaper price due to the fact that I was buying the whole thing together so it came up to about $80 which I think once you convert it into UK pounds it's roughly about £60 so that wasn't that bad but yeah we have a eyeshadow palette here we've got a blush and a highlighter and then we have some lip kits we have some um, liquid eyeshadows and we've got some eyeliners so I am going to go through all of these and like I said give you my honest opinion on them and yeah I will swatch some of them as well um, so you can get a true idea of what the colours look like and yeah I'm really happy to be doing this so let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing I might go with, I might go with the blush and the highlighter so the one that I've got here is the press powder cheek which I think is the blush I'm gonna say I'm not actually sure that is the packaging of the item and on the back it does has swipe right and obviously the name of it so I'm going to take it out and it comes in this cute little pink container which I think is really cute and yeah this is the highlighter I think I said it was the blush so on the back again it just has the name and obviously what it is and when you open it up it has a little compact mirror which I think is really cute and that itself is the highlighter so I really like this highlighter um there's a little bit of fallout if you can just see I don't know if you can see but um, yeah I'm gonna swatch it and see what it's like texture wise it has quite a creamy like texture to it which I don't think is weird but for a highlighter do I like it I don't know that is what the highlighter looks like and I'm just gonna swatch it right here on my hand Again, I don't know if you can see it because of my light, but if I bring it over this side, can you see it? It's just here. So, it, it has quite a nice sheen to it. Actually, I'm going to swatch it again on my finger just so you can get more of a, uh, more of a close up on it. So, that is the highlighter and like I said, it has a really nice like sheen effect to it which I think is really nice. I don't know personally what it would look like on my skin. I don't know, but yeah, I think you can just about make it out here, like right here. 
Um, for some reason light colours don't show up on my skin whatsoever. But that is the highlighter. I don't know if I mentioned as well, this Love Heart is kind of 3D, which I think is quite cute. And obviously it has the Zoella X colour pop on it so that is really really nice for the highlighter this is now the blush and it is in the name soulmate and again it is a pressed powder cheek so again i'm going to open it up and it is in the exact same packaging as the highlighter so it has the exact same on the back and that is the colour of the blush this for me if i was to like buy this in a shop would be quite pink for me but I like more of a soft tone pink whereas this is quite bright but anyway um, I'm going to swatch it this doesn't feel anything like the highlighter um, it just feels like a normal thing to be honest so I'm gonna swatch it here okay so that is the pink again you can probably just about make it here it is a lot a lot softer once it's on your skin than when you actually like swatch it on your finger um but yeah that is actually quite a nice color for a blush i'm not gonna lie it's very soft quite quite a floral rosy pinky color which is quite nice and yeah um i actually can't wait to try this as well as the highlighter actually whilst doing my makeup so that is the highlighter and the blush compact so i'm going to move on to this item next and it is the supernova shadow bundle so i think these are the liquid eyeliner Li liquid eyeshadows that she's brought out and I'm just gonna get them out. First of all I really like the packaging I just think they're really really cute Um, once they're like fingered they look like little milk cartons so I think they're quite quite adorable. So I've never actually owned any liquid eyeshadow and I've always seen people using the Stila and I just see how pretty they are so for me to own these I feel kind of special so first of all I'm going to show you what the actual bottles look like so they are what the bottles look like and it just says Zoella X Colourpop and actually looking at these two colours they look really similar like the top one is just a little bit more rose gold whereas the bottom one is a little bit more silvery um i'm really excited to swatch these like i said i've never owned any so i don't actually know what they're going to look like but um, I will swatch them on my wrist. This is in the shade um, Bellini, I think, and this one is OG. So OG is the more darker shade, and Bellini is the more the lighter shade. So I'm going to be swatching Bellini first. That for a liquid eyeshadow. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm not going to like that. It's so pigmented as well. Oh my god. I really like that, that is so nice. And now I'm gonna swatch OG, this is the more darker shade. Okay, so I think I've got these two mixed up. This one is Bellini, which is the darker shade, and OG is the more lighter shade when you actually look at the two. So these are the two ones swatched, and again, I really, really like them. This one at the bottom, the more lighter shade, this took quite a few more strokes than what I did on the first one. The first one I literally did in one stroke, and obviously you can see how pigmented it is, whereas the bottom one I think I did two, and it's still not at that pigmentation. But the colours themselves, can't doubt them, and like I said, they have a really nice sheen on them, so like when I tilt my wrist you can definitely see like the highlight pop in them so they are the liquid eyeshadows and i absolutely love them okay so next i might do the two eyeliners um that she has brought out and these are the packages for the eyeliners and it says here cream gel eyeliners these are so cute for packages i'm not gonna lie and in the two shades that you've got are sincerely yours and xoxo so I'm going to take XOXO out first. So these just come in these really nice orange pencil forms. And like I said, this is the shade XOXO. This is the black shade that she has brought out. And it is a retractable pen. So no need for sharpening and making a mess. So that is that, and I'm just going to swatch it here on my hand. So that is XOXO, and that is quite a nice, 
like format. I'm not a fan of eyeliner, I can for some reason never apply it. I can always apply it dead good to like one eye and then the other eye just goes completely like, completely off track to what the other one is. So I tend to not actually use any eyeliner. But that for a format is quite nice, it is very creamy. And yeah, I'm going to move on to the other shade. So this one is Sincerely Yours and I'm guessing this is going to be a brown shade. I'm not entirely sure but again it's the exact same colour pencil and yeah so this is a brown if you can see there and I'm just going to swatch it oh my god no way <laughs> no it's just snapped on me I, I won't wind it up as like much this time but I'm just going to swatch it next to the black and that is what the brown looks like so again quite a nice color very nice format and i can't believe that it's just broke on me so oh they have glitters in them i don't know if that's just my eyesight but if i try and try and zoom up a little bit i don't know i can see glitters in them i don't know i think it's just me but they are the two shades of the eyeliners and now I'm going to move on to the next product. So these three are I think the lip bundles which I'm going to take out. And again these are like the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadows. Just again like little cute little milk bottles which I think are very very cute for lip packaging. And on the side they have lip bundle and on the other side it has Zoella X Colourpop. So this one that I have in my hand is Self Love Club. I have little one and this one is at me and they all come with a matte lipstick and a lip liner so I'm going to go through these three and swatch them for you as well okay so this one is at me and once you open it up they are your two products you get in the box so that is the color at me which again is a very nice nude color so I'm going to swatch this right here on my hand. They don't have a scent to them, which isn't a problem, but I do like lip glosses that have a scent. So that is what At Me looks like, and that is very, very nice for a lip colour, I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to swatch the lip liner next to it, and then give you a close up on what the two look like. So that is At Me, both the matte lipstick and the lip liner. This one is Little One, and both the two items are called Little One in this one, so I'm not going to get these two mixed up. But that is the colour for Little One, and I'm just going to swatch it right now. So this one looks like it has more of a brown nude undertone, so that is little one and I'm just going to do little one next to it so that is little one both the lipstick and the lip liner and the last shade is self love club and the lip liner is bossy so I have a feeling I know what shade this one is and this is one color that I would never go for it's just too not my color whatsoever and it is the red lipstick so that is very bright for a red but i'm going to swatch it anyway and i have to say it's such a it's such a gorgeous color for a lip gloss like matte lipstick it's just not my color that i'd go for so i'm going to do this one just here so that is what um self love club looks like it has a very hot pink undertone to it so it is more it is still red but it's kind of a pinky red if you know what i'm saying and uh the lip liner or oh, bossy sorry i forgot uh so i'm just going to do that next to it and again that is bossy for the lip liner so they are zoella's three matte lipsticks with their lip liners the lip liners are very very close to the lip colors which i absolutely love i cannot stand a lip especially when you have a bundle um like a lip kit where the lip liner doesn't go well with the lip color itself 
but with these three I think they match very very well um, I think looking for my distance in the camera in the viewfinder I don't think you could tell which one was which obviously I know just because I've done it but yeah I really really like them colours and yeah I'll just have to see I'll definitely wear these two but I think this one would be a hit and miss for me okay so the last thing that is in here is the eyeshadow palette and first of all can we just say how cute is the packaging it looks to like two little waffles with some strawberries and blueberries on and on the back it has all of the shades names so we have champagne toast pancake please french toast skinny latte cinnamon sugar is it mimosa uh, maple syrup sunday fun day sunny side up americano brunch club and extra slice so that is what the back of the packaging looks like and that is what the front looks like so i'm going to open it up right now and it's just going to slide out so again that is what the front looks like that is what the back looks like i'm going to open it up right now so you come with a mirror of course and these are the colors can we just say how stunning is this color right here and this one right here so that is sunday fun day and skinny latte them two colors are proper like hitting it up for me right now they are so nice so we are just going to go and swatch some of these colors now on my arm and again give you my honest opinion on these eyeshadow colors so i'm definitely going to swatch uh, champagne toast which is this color right here so that is champagne toast if you can just about see it I'm going to do French toast which is this dark shade right here that is French toast right there I'm going to do the one next to it which is skinny latte that is skinny latte Sunday fun day which is this pink that is Sunday fun day and I might do extra slice which is this brown colour right here and that is extra slice so here is some of the swatches of the eyeshadow palette so it starts from the one up here all the way down and they do have quite a lot of fallout I'm not gonna lie like I've got some smudges here and they are what is on my hand but other than that, I think compared to what they might look like on my eyes, I'm not entirely sure. But colours, can't fault them. They are absolutely stunning. And yeah, I'm just going to go and clean my arm. And going back onto the eyeshadow palette itself. <sighs> Sorry, a bit of fall out there. Um, absolutely love the colours. Um, she's definitely used a bunch of a range of colours. Like, for example, this blue. Um and i really really like the shimmers for example sunday fun day skinny latte and extra slice um they're all really nice and yeah um if you want me to use a look like if you want me to like do a video um making an eyeshadow look from this palette then please comment below as it would be a fun video to do and yeah that is the brunch date eyeshadow palette and last but not least i'm just going to go over the bag again so this is just a packet of stickers that is actually put in the thing as well which wasn't actually noticed on the website but again the bag itself is very pretty like I said, you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here, uh, not going to lie. And yeah, at the bottom here, it just has Zoella X Colourpop. And yeah, for £60, that was a good amount of stuff, I'm not going to lie. I know I keep saying that word a lot, but I'm generally telling the truth. Um, I, like I said, have never bought anything from Colourpop, so I can't really say... Or compare for example the lipsticks to another lipstick that I own because I have quite a lot of other lipsticks apart from Colourpop but I am happy with overall with everything that I've got um, apart from this lipstick right here this might be the only one I might not use just due to the fact that it's not really my colour and I don't really tend to use this 
type of colour but you never know um halloween it might come in handy for that overall i am super happy with this collection that zoe has done with colourpop i love how she just likes to express herself and throw stuff out there and that is definitely what she's done with this collection so well done zoella um you have done an amazing job and i'm not going to make this video any longer than what it already is so i'm going to end this video and like i said if you want me to do a video where i try some of the products actually on my face whilst doing my makeup then please comment that below and any other video i like any other video ideas or video recommendations then feel please feel free to comment them down below too and i'm not going to blabber on anymore so i'm just going to simply end this video and i will see you in my next video bye